Hi everyone. Hi. Um, selamat siang. Um, I've actually only started learning Indonesian this year. So uh, unlike these two who have been speaking it for decades, um, <laughs> uh, I've been to Bali many times over my life. My first time was when I was 12 and that's when I learned to say Terry McCarthy. Um, and then as an adult, I, I've always loved going to Bali again, like many um, Australians my age, um, and learned a few words in Balinese and Indonesian, but never thought about it seriously, um, mostly because I uh, speak French fluently, um, Chinese reasonably well, and so they were kind of the languages that I was, well, had enough trouble with. Um, trying to conjugate verbs in French and then learn Chinese characters is enough language for anyone, I think. Um, but uh, at the start of this year, I decided to finish my undergraduate degree and, um, well, I'd just been to Bali, so I thought, why not Indonesian? It's so close and I like Batik. So <laughs> I just jumped straight in. Um, found learning Indonesian um, a real joy, actually. Um, just because uh, I was surprised how easy it was to find friends to speak with in Indonesian here in Adelaide. Um, I've made quite a, quite a group of friends already. Um, that's how I met Yudas over here. And um, uh, I was uh, starting in the first year level along with all the other learners, but felt that it wasn't going fast enough for my liking. So I decided to, between last semester and this semester, took myself off to Dogda, went to Lisbon Bahaza and did um, two weeks really intensive doing um, eight hours a day um, of Indonesian, cramming, going as fast as I can, I keep saying to my, um, to my docent, um, you know, faster, faster, no, 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 slow down, um, which is really good because now I'm in second year Indonesian. Um, also spent a week in Milan with um, one of my friends that I've met here in Adelaide um, with her extended family for Italy Pichu, um, which was an absolute culture shock because I um, turned up on the first day of Italy Pichu to their home and so we did all the visiting. And I had so many kwe, I felt very, very sick. Um, if anybody tries to give me a kwe again, I'm going to. <laughs> um, a few places I'm pretty sure they'd um, kept the quay from the, the year before that other people had given them and then brought them out for this year, so that was <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> um, so um, while Jogda was really, um, really interesting and I had um, in some ways quite similar experiences, it was going to my lung that really um, helped my fluency um, because nobody spoke English except my friend. Um, and it was a real culture shock because <coughs> there was no other bullets, no others at all. <laughs> and um, got, got used to, you know, using the buck for my buck, my daily bath and all that sort of stuff. Um, but after only three weeks in Indonesia, the difference three weeks in Indonesia versus a semester learning at university was just unbelievable because I went back home via Bali, as of course I'm going to go back to Bali, um, where I have some Balinese friends and a few of them who I'd had very small conversations with before in English, I could actually really converse with them, um, have interesting conversations in Indonesia um, where getting to know some people that you've known for four or five years but never really spoken to properly was um, really special and has only spurred me on to, I've applied now through a teacher to do um, a semester at UGM as well um, and I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, a lot of the stuff you have to prepare for going over to UGM we just have to prepare as well. They just gave us pro forma things for it from the teachers. So. Yeah, it's um, been quite a process going to the doctor and then saying, so you, why are you here? I need you to tell a teacher, I need you to tell the university in Indonesia that I'm healthy. <laughs> <laughs> Good help. Um, uh, 
my other passion is um, uh, I also do in, um, Indigenous studies and I'm really interested in art and something that I've found really interesting is the links between um, uh, Aboriginal Australia and Indonesia and the um, centuries and centuries of contact um, and sharing of art even recently um, is something that I'm not sure that most Indonesians appreciate when they come here. There's actually a lot of um, your influence in Australian <coughs> art, um, Aboriginal art. Um, you can see the Makassan prowls in uh, bark paintings from before um, colonisation here. And I just love that, um, love exploring those connections between our countries that people aren't always aware of. Any questions? <laughs> <laughs> yeah.